But now breaking news concerning the Yankees and the outbreak of positive cases of COVID-19. We have just learned that infielder Glaber Torres has also tested positive for the coronavirus. He joins the seven coaches and staff members who tested positive yesterday, all despite being vaccinated. Now, a lot of people are wondering how and why this is happening. It's called Breakthrough COVID. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has some answers. The first thing to know is that no vaccine is 100% effective. And while all three COVID vaccines have proven to be extremely effective at preventing serious disease, hospitalization, and especially death from the coronavirus, some breakthroughs can and have happened. There are so many possible variables that can contribute to a vaccine breakthrough. The individual's own immune system may not respond well enough. He or she may have been exposed to a COVID variant that wasn't fully prevented by the vaccine, or they may have tested positive before the vaccine had a chance to fully rev up immunity. That said, the chief clinical officer for the Yale New Haven Health System says you also have to understand how vaccines work. They either prevent the virus from entering the body or put a stop to it once it begins replicating. So with all vaccines uh, of the COVID-19, uh, for COVID-19, it's possible that the virus can enter your cells, begin replicating, uh, and then be stopped uh, after they begin replicating. Therefore, presenting a period of time uh, when you may test positive and may be asymptomatic. In other words, test three times a day, as the Yankees do, and you're likely to find a positive test in someone who isn't sick. That's all but one of the positive Yankee coaches, and who may never get sick thanks to the vaccine. Not to mention that the shots dramatically reduce an infected person's ability to spread the virus to others. There have been a few thousand so-called breakthrough cases, but it's hard to tell how many of those got truly sick, and that's compared to nearly 120 million Americans fully vaccinated. Works out to less than a thousandth of one percent. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.